moment and uh, what the Democrats are uh, doing in uh, Congress. Uh, first, let's go back to what David Sirota referred to as uh, the distraction uh, game. Uh, once again, uh, uh, moveon.org, uh, of course, uh, took out the ad uh, in the New York Times. The New York Times says it was mistaken uh, to give a discount rate of $65,000 to moveon.org. And yesterday, MoveOn paid $77,000 more, which all adds up to the full rate of $142,000, uh, given a dollar here or there. The Times once again says it was all a mistake, but Republicans still call the incident evidence of the Times liberal bias. Uh, some groups are even calling it a violation of campaign finance law. John Armour is an attorney with the American Civil Rights Union. That's a conservative liberal group. And Mr. Armour, welcome to our program. Glad to be with you. Uh, where's the violation? Well, the violation is in the discount in the first place. Uh, it is illegal under the Federal Election Commission laws and regulations for any corporation, including the New York Times, which is a corporation, to make a gift of whatever that difference was, $62,000, uh, to a political organization, which uh, moveon.org clearly is. Um, so that is a violation. Is the violation solved if the New York Times says, whoops, we made a mistake and charges the balance and gets the difference? Well, ask yourself this question. If, if Willie Sutton robbed a bank and then he came in the next day and he said, oh, there was a terrible mistake. Here's your $10,000 back. Does that make him cease to be a bank robber? The answer is no. He's still a bank robber. It may affect how, how much they're punished, but it doesn't affect whether they violated the law. Uh, is this a way for a conservative such as yourself to get at the uh, uh, campaign finance laws themselves, which have been uh, supported by the New York Times editorially? Uh, well, actually, the Supreme Court has already uh, gut shot one part of the uh, law, which I, I personally, I practice First Amendment law in the U.S. Supreme Court. And the most offensive part of those laws was the one in which Congress told organizations of American citizens that 30 days before a primary and 60 days before a general, they couldn't pay for a broadcast ad that named the incumbent and said why they liked or disliked his or her position on certain issues. There could not be a clearer violation, as far as I'm concerned, of the First Amendment, and the U.S. Supreme Court has now agreed in a case I think that came out of Wisconsin contrary to the original decision of the Supreme Court when it voted five to four to say, okay, you can do that. So the Supreme Court has attacked the law. Uh, and, of course, when the court attacks the law and says that it's unconstitutional, that's it. Uh, there's no further uh, court above it to appeal to. So on principle, then, uh, you might agree with the idea that if the New York Times wants to give a gift to a political organization, uh, it ought to be able to do it. But uh, you're suggesting oh, no, 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 that it no. can't. Oh, heavens no, 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 no. no. Uh, the law says the New York Times, uh, because it's a corporation, can't make that gift. Um, and the question is, uh, did it make such a gift? And if so, what uh, penalties will be applied for the error? Giving the money back doesn't make the crime go away. Look at the stuff with uh, Norman Shu, uh, that's H-S-U, and the nearly $1 million he raised for the Hillary Clinton campaign. Does giving the money back make the crimes involved go away? No. It might reduce the, penal the penalties, but it does not wipe the crimes off the books. This John, is just classic criminal law. John Armour with the American Civil Rights Union. Well, and only back with To The Point, to talking today about the MoveOn.org ad accusing General Petraeus of being General Betray Us. Uh, and we're now on the issue of uh, the New York Times, the uh, discount price. Uh, is the New York Times, in fact, a liberal organization? Uh, was it giving a gift, an illegal gift, under campaign finance laws uh, to a political organization? Uh, just with uh, talking right now with John Armour, uh, the attorney for the American Civil Rights uh, uh, Union. Uh, and let me uh, give you a chance to finish your point. Well, I was simply saying uh, that, first of all, the New York Times' own public editor, the new one who took over for Okrant, who burned out and left, uh, has said in print that the New York Times has not been honest about how this, quote, discount, unquote, came to be given for an ad which seems to be guaranteed for a certain date, which means it should have been the full $142,000, if I've got the price right. Uh, so, therefore, the Times itself is questioning the integrity of the Times in this matter. And if, in fact, they guaranteed the date and gave the discount, then there's a serious question whether they committed a major felony under the Federal Election Commission laws. And if so, then the question is not what did they do, but what penalty should be applied to the Times for violating that law. 
Let me ask you a, a question of another kind. Uh, you're the uh, conservative on our program today, uh, the principal one uh, at least. Uh, well, we do have uh, conservative versus liberal Democrats. We're going to take up that one in a moment uh, on the issue of uh, where the Democrats are going and, and what about their presidential candidates. But let me ask you, John Armour, uh, with the American Civil Rights Union, uh, about this. Uh, uh, Rush Limbaugh apparently has used the same phrase, Senator Betrayus, Uh, to describe the uh, Republican senator from Nebraska, Chuck Hagel, who, of course, is a decorated Vietnam veteran. Democrats are pointing out there hasn't been the same outcry about that that there was about MoveOn.org, referring to the uh, current general as General uh, Betrayus. Do you think that Rush Limbaugh is as guilty of bad taste, the juvenile behavior, and uh, and perhaps uh, something worse than that as MoveOn.org? Well, number one, I'm not a defender of Rush Limbaugh, and where I live in the mountains, I can't even get his show. <laughs> number two, um, Rush Limbaugh uh, is not, if he expressed such an opinion, uh, violating the campaign finance law in any way, shape, or form, because he's not making any financial contribution to anyone. He's simply conducting his show. And number three, this is not, as far as I'm concerned, a liberal or conservative issue. It is a question of integrity and the basic function of the federal election Uh, funding laws for uh, all candidates at the federal level is honesty. They have to say where they got their money, from whom. That has to be an honest statement, not a lie about where it came from or how it was bundled, and that information has to be accurate. Uh, And if it is not, that's a violation and should be prosecuted. I don't care whether it's liberal, conservative, left, right, green, uh, (laughs) American Party, Democrat, Republican, whoever. If they violate that, 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 the saying the truth about where their money came from, all of them should be prosecuted.